Hi, I'm James Roth from Fat Man, and I'm here to tell you all about the Fat Man iTube Carbon Edition in an exclusive video for Audio Advisor. The Carbon Edition is a hybrid valve amplifier, and it's one of the mainstays of the Fat Man family. Rather than being in two pieces, as the original iTube was, this is actually in a one piece form factor. Uh, we were asked by a lot of people to drop the chrome because it was too shiny, too bright, and it wasn't 21st century enough for them. It was a little bit too retro. What we, should, what we actually came up with is this, the Carbon Edition, all in black, pretty much the same as the standard iTube, but like I said, all in one piece. The only other major difference is that this has got an extra pair of inputs, and we'll show you the back panel later on in this video. So what have we got here? Hybrid tube amplifier, so two tubes in the preamp and then a solid state amplifier to provide the power. The Magic Eye, which is basically a left-right audio meter, a level meter, which you can't really see when the cage is on, and we put a cage on there for health and safety reasons, but when you take the cage off, which you'll undoubtedly do if you buy one of these things, because it looks beautiful with the cage off, you'll see the left-right bouncing up and down. The iPod dock on this side of the unit will accommodate any available iPod that's in the market today, and the device has also got the required authentication chip to allow the new iPods to stream video. And again, we'll show you the back panel later on, but it's got S-video output and composite video output. So any video-enabled iPod can run to a big screen. This big thing in the middle is the transformer. It's got to be in there. We've got no choice about it. I know it's ugly, but that's just the way it is. The unit will ship either like this or with a matching pair of speakers. I should explain why we actually use vacuum tubes in our products. Basically, tubes add distortion into the signal path. Now, most people run a mile as soon as you say the word distortion, but in this context, it's a good thing because the human brain interprets that distortion as a kind of warmth and an openness which is being added to the music. So, even if you're using a compressed audio format on your iPod, It'll, these tubes will actually add a warmth to it and it will sound better. If you do an A-B comparison between a device like this using vacuum tubes and one that doesn't use vacuum tubes, this will always sound better. Now, obviously, it will sound even better still if you actually store your music in lossless format on your iPod. And we do encourage people to do that because when you're paying a specific amount of money for this product, you really want to get the very best results from it. So here we have the back panel of the iTube Carbon Edition. It's very simple. Very straightforward. Two pairs of RCA inputs on the back here into which you can put your CD player or DVD player or even your mobile phone if you're so inclined. Four binding posts obviously for the speakers left and right and here we have the video output stage for the video enabled iPods and we've put composite video on the back here and S video. It's up to you what you choose to use. Obviously all Fatman products come with a 27 key remote control and this one will even control the backlight on your iPod. The usual transport controls are on there and it works up to a distance of about 5 metres. I'm James Roth from Fat Man and this is an exclusive video for Audio Advisor.